We'll start with the Mustad R43 size 12 dry fly hook. And some sheer 14 aught tan. We'll just attach this here and we'll go back. Remove that. I want to keep the body nice and slender here for the tapered dubbed body. So we go back to about there. Then what we need is some uh, tail fibbits, silver done. Just need a small bunch of these, you don't have to count them. So about the same length as the hook shank to there. And what we do is we just tack these in very carefully with a couple of wraps and just check the length, that's good. And keep them on top of the hook shank and go back, keeping your turns nice and neat. Just keep checking the tail that it's in the right position. Go back to there. One more. Then what I do is I'll spin my tying thread clockwise to give it a round profile so that when I put it under the tail and tighten up it'll fan it out and lift it like so. That's how I want it. And then I can just do a couple of wraps to secure that and up over the butt ends of the fibbit to about there <clears throat> and then we'll remove them and then we can go back to just before the tail base and I've got some super fine dubbing. I'm going to be using the Pale Evening Done. Now, what you want to do is you want to taper the dubbing before you start applying it. So it's finer at the top and gets thicker at the bottom. This is going to have a, a taper as we wrap it. So we just take the very end of the dubbing and tighten that up. And then we'll slide that up and just catch it in with a couple of turns this will stop the dubbing from spinning when you twist it on so we want a tight dubbing rope now that starts thin at the very top I'll just unwrap that once more now it's caught in and we want this all nice and tight and we'll hold our dubbing in position And we'll go right, rotate the vise because if you rotate, if you use your bobbin as you would normally by wrapping it, the dubbing will come undone and you won't achieve this nice segmented taper. Okay, let's tighten that up again. You want to go about two thirds of the way up the hook shank with this. Perfect. Very good. Open those tails a little bit more. There we are. Excellent. Now what we want is a done hackle and we want this to be quite a little larger than the for the hook size. You'll see why later. And we'll just tie this in slightly out the way because I want to keep room make room for the uh, for the wing so we go forward with that and we can just trim this off and then we'll go back to there and what I need is a tiny bit of the super fine dubbing we tighten this up again and catch it in then we can tighten it a little bit more and we can go back over the thorax just to build the thorax up a wee bit we go 
forward, ready for the wing. Now what we need is two CDC hackles. I'm going to pull all the fibres together, measure the wing length to about the correct size. And then what we want is just to go into there. Go forward. That's good. And we can trim these off. Secure that wing and we go back. Tiny bit of dubbing. And we just catch that in again once you've tightened it and then tighten it proper. Then we can lift the wing. those fibres, there we go, and there's more behind there, and we can go forward, very good, and then I like to just put a whip finish in there, and we take our hackle, and start at the back, you can see why we tied the hackle in now. A couple of turns of hackle behind the wing. That's good. I can pull the wing back and over the top. And then we go forward. Tie that off. Take our whip finisher. And put one in there. We can remove our hackle. Another whip finish in. And yeah, remove the tiny thread. Now, this is where the long hackle comes in. What we want to do now is take our scissors and remove everything on the underside, but leave just some little stubs. If I just take it out and show you from the front, that's the front view. If you can see that, this very elegant uh, where the hackle works when it's cut underneath. And if I put it back in, you can see that beautiful footprint that it has. If you enjoy the videos please like and subscribe and share and as usual thanks for watching.